Hey y'all, welcome to Horrible Gaming. My name is Nora and on today's video we are working more on Metropolis, which is my realistic nighttime city. If you've been following me for a while, you know we've been doing a lot of realistic builds lately. And I've been trying to figure out like how I want to incorporate these onto an actual island and I have finally committed to a nighttime vibe full of realistic builds. I also plan to add more realistic builds to my other islands too that I've been sharing on my channel. Before we get started, I'd appreciate if you'd hit that like, subscribe, and notify button if you want to see more content like this in the future. So as mentioned on the Skyline 2.0 upgraded build, I decided to end up changing the 7-Eleven to something a little bit more modern and realistic. I do want this to be a very realistic island, so I thought just redoing it would be better. So instead of a wide display cave shelf, we are using dreamy shells with the backlit sign customized on the top of them. I was very excited to find out that these can be placed on top of the dreamy shells as it definitely captures the realistic uh, logo light that the 7-Elevens have. I really wish Nintendo had some sort of a skinny glass option that lights up to make it look like doors to a convenience store, but since we don't have items like that, we're going to be using the simple panels customized as a door in front of the display shelf as usual. So I wanted to put that out there that that is what we're going to be using and all the codes that I am using today will be found also in the video's description in case you want to use them on your own island. Next for the main base of the build, we're going to place two display shelves sideways and then one backwards to kind of make a little entryway. Now I'm going to go ahead and focus on making this area over here where like a truck drop off is. So I'm going to have lots of boxes and then we're also going to be making a small parking lot where my highway is. So after we build the uh, parking lot area, I wanted to also add this important information into this video that during the video, we use the actual seven part of the logo as a simple panel. And that is customized and I found all the codes for this under criteria search, literally 711, or you can do the 7-11 on criteria search. Both options bring up a ton of awesome codes that you can choose which ones you like best for your island. I also saw some really cute kawaii looking ones too, in case you're doing a theme around that but I want to also include that there's two different build styles that I will be showcasing in the video of course the main focus of the video was the panel option in the center but if you're somebody who wants it to be illuminated and you're doing something set at nighttime like I am I'm gonna be showing you how you can capture a glowy centerpiece just like I've been sharing on my Instagram I think the one thing I wish I could have included into this build today was a actual like gas pumping stationed area like we have on our modern traditional gas stations Hopefully I can brainstorm something like that for us. Obviously it's gonna take a lot of clever item combining to be able to get that illusion. But for the most part, I am pretty excited about this build, mostly because even if you don't do a 7-Eleven, I feel like this looks like a very traditional gas station exterior. So you could easily turn this into an AM PM or a racetrack or your local gas station, obviously too. So I hope that this does bring you some inspiration for your own island, as I was very excited that we were finally able to capture the illuminated uh, logo that a 7-Eleven has. And I also can't wait to see how you recreate this on your own island. I want to say that if you do have social media, and plan to share this feel free to tag me on my instagram which can be found in the video's description i absolutely love seeing recreations so definitely you know tag me ping me i want to see how you have incorporated on your own island theme if you want to recreate that illuminated centerpiece it's super easy to do all you need to make sure you have is a green diner neon sign you also need to use a dreamy shelf and a cube light so obviously customize the cube light to the 7-eleven logo and place that on top of a dreamy shelf Next, you're going to place that diner neon sign behind it, and then you're going to frame with the wide display shelf in the very back. And that is going to how you're going to capture that really nice illuminated centerpiece. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that this brings you a ton of inspiration for your own island. With that being said, have a horrible day. See you next video.